Hi there, Jay with Canadian Energy. Today we're going to have a look at battery separators, also known as smart solenoids. Why we use them in a dual battery system and just how they function. I've set up a bit of a display here. I'm going to use the battery on my right as my starting battery and the battery on my left as a house battery or my auxiliary battery. So how the smart solenoids functions in your dual battery system, what it does is it watches voltage. It knows when my starting battery is receiving a charge from the alternator when the vehicle is running. When I start the vehicle and my voltage in the alternator starts to rise and rises above 13.2 to 13.5, my battery separator is going to close, therefore charging my starting battery and charging my auxiliary battery. Once I shut the vehicle down and the voltage drops below 12.5 to 12.2, my smart solenoid is going to open, therefore isolating the two batteries. So I can continue to run my DC loads, lighting, inverter, whatever I have on my house bank or my auxiliary bank, and still leave my starting battery 100% fresh to go ahead and restart the vehicle. A couple things you got to keep in mind on the installation is your wire gauge size and the length of wire that you're going to run. Also the proper fuse between the battery separator and the auxiliary battery. And the manufacturer also calls for a 10 amp fuse on the ground side of the battery isolator. <clears throat> the battery isolators come in two different voltages, 12 volt and 24 volt. And they also come in different amperages that need to be gauged to the alternator size on your vehicle. In 12 volt we have 100 amp, 200 amp and 300 amp. On 24 volt we have 100 amp and a 300 amp. <clears throat> they also come in two different models, uh, 1314 and 1315. The 1314 is known as a unidirectional. It'll only sense charge from one source, in this one being our starting battery. A 1315 on the other hand we'll look at charge on both sides. So if I've got an inverter charger or an onboard battery charger on my auxiliary battery, and again, it's gonna operate the same way, once my voltage rises between 13.2 and 13.5, my battery separator is gonna close and therefore also maintain my starting battery. So there you go, a little bit on battery separators. Hope that information helps. Bye for now.